Oh, hey, welcome to Homeworks. If you're gonna get serious about a yard, you need one of these. Okay, so in today's show, we're going to be going over how to build a yard leveling rake for your yard. And if you're going to get serious about doing your yard, you're going to need a yard leveling rake. Now, if you've gone out and priced these puppies, they're anywhere from 125 bucks all the way up to about 400. Pretty expensive in my book. So I'm going to build mine. And uh, I'm going to show you how to build one for just around $100. You can also build them cheaper at a slotted angle if you'd like. You got to bolt it all together. Um, and you could probably do that. You probably get away for about 35 bucks on that. I'm going to be welding mine out of square tube steel for this show. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you start this project is head to the hardware store and pick up the items that you need. And I have a link in the description for all the items that we used in this build. Okay, so let's just quickly go over what we used on this project. Some one and a half inch slotted angle, one inch by 48 inch square tube steel, a six foot broom handle, three quarter inch metal thimble, some people call it a rope eyelet, some U-bolts, a hinge strap, a three eighth inch steel spacer, some three eighths inch lock nuts, some two and a half inch U-bolts, washers, and some two and a quarter inch bolts with nylon lock nuts. And again, the link for everything is down below. Okay, so we got our basic frame cut and uh, beveled on the edges, and then we're going to go ahead and clamp this down and tack weld it. Okay, so we are all done welding and grinding our corners, and we're just getting ready to cut and weld in our cross member for our mount. Okay, so we have our center brace welded and ground down and now it's to put our slotted angle on either side in the middle for our handle mount okay so we have our slotted angle all cut and ground down trim so there's no sharp edges one thing i want to show you guys is when you're working with slotted angle you're going to want to make sure that all your holes line up because it's real bitch if you get through cutting all this and you didn't check that. So we have our handle brackets welded in. And I want to show you why it's so important to line up those holes when you get ready to put your bolt in. If you don't have that lined in, guess what? That screw is not fitting. How we're going to attach this to the wooden handle is with this steel spacer inside of part of a gate hinge. Okay, I wanted to quickly show you guys <clears throat> the finished handle for this project. And all it really is, is that simple gate hinge along with that steel sleeve that was press fit in, two U-bolts that were clamped down onto just a slightly flattened broom handle. Okay, so there you have it. There's our handle onto our lawn leveling rake. You can see I've got quite a bit of movement back and forth on it, which is great. You see that that doesn't, I shaved off the bottom of the bolts so that that can go down quite a bit and not uh, interfere with anything. And again, I want to reiterate why it is so important to line up those holes when you're dealing with the uh, slotted angle so that that bolt fits squarely inside there. Okay, so after taking the leveling rake out and using it for a little bit, I noticed that six feet of broomstick handle was not enough. You need at least 72 inches or so and able to get the reach out there and to pull it back the way you need it so you can level everything correctly. So I decided to make handle 2.0. And I did that after looking around the garage for a little while and found 
this. A 92 inch pool handle for scooping up leaves and stuff out of your pool. Just happened to have another one laying around, so I modified it. Again, the same basic uh, principles of attaching the handle. Uh, use still the gate hinge and the bolts that I had along with these little plates I made up to add a little bit of extra strength to it. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you build your yard leveling rake so you can level everything out in your yard. Again, you can build it out of angle, uh, slotted angle, or out of uh, square tube steel like I did. So thanks for watching.